Well, I was saying, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to show you um, a Lego model. It's um, of a class tractor. So, um, I think it's best just to get in. So that's it there. Um, so it's a Lego Technic Class 5000. Um, Xreon. It's um, 1950 piece, and um, it has various features that I'll uh, I'll go through. So first off, um, the steering in this tractor, this model tractor, um, it's controlled by this. Um, I suppose you could call that the steering wheel of it. So it's not the one inside in the cab there, that's just a mock-up. Um, so that's what controls the steering back and forth on it. What's unique about this model is that it has uh, three different uh, steering alignments in the model. It has uh, your normal front wheel steering, and it has crab steer and uh, articulated steering. That's controlled by a little toggle switch here at the back that slides back and forth. Um, I'm hoping you can make out there the uh, stickers that display which uh, wheel alignment setting that you're in. So um, I believe that to be articulated steering. So you can see. The wheels are turning in unison opposite directions. Um, the crab steer is this way. So let's try and get this straightened out again. So you can see, you can see the the alignment of the wheels there. Which is pretty cool. Um, what heads have we? The bonnet can be lifted up. And that houses um, the battery pack. There's four AA batteries inside in that battery pack in here. And that lead is um, the power source to some of the features that are controlled on the side of the model here. So, I'll just put this back down. And switch on the power. So the cab should lift and turn like uh, the model in the model of the tractor in real life. I remember which? Well, maybe it's up. No. So in that position, the tractor is able to mimic walking from. Uh, the rear um, next piece on the model is this piece it's supposed to mimic a snow plow or a, possibly a, a silage pusher for working on a silage pit you can see the gears wheels working there and there's a switch here at the side which should engage the pusher or snow plow or whatever you want to call it to open out this can be further adjusted here on a manual ram to give you the desired angle
which is pretty cool. Furthermore, it can be lifted up and down on the links of the tractor. Manually, obviously. So to put it back in, use the same switch here. Fully down. You can see the gears turn in there. And switch the cab back to its front facing position. So, those are the main features of it, probably the most interesting features, um, but it's, I think it's a very nice model. Um, I don't think it was too cheap when I bought it, and it took me a good while to finish it actually, it was put together with another chap I used to work with, uh, we worked on it after work, I think it was 200 euros, if not more. But um, uh, I don't begrudge paying it. I think it's a nice item to have. Um, it's incredibly intricate, really. Get it from the other side. The front links here as well. Goes up and down. Now the instruction manual that came with it displays a um, log crane or lift for the back of the tractor and a set of front weights that should be where I just operated there. But um, we found online that you could also create the plow which we bought agreed um, would suit would suit better for this particular model. So that's the one we built. Um, it's it's easy to follow. Like in fairness, it is quite easy to follow, but it's just um, it is time consuming. So this is the bags that I use to, I just found it handier to put them into bags like this and it keeps the, the different pieces needed to recreate the crane if that needs be, if you wanted to change the plow, or not the plow, the pusher or, or, or a few snow plow. So I keep them in these bags, if I ever wanted to change it I probably won't bother but they're all there anyway. So the tractor model on its side here to show the underneath of it and you can see the drive shaft run the length of the model which is powered by the battery pack in the bonnet and controlled from the switches here at the side and which one is this one? Let's see when the power switch is turned on you can see it turning but not engaging because the switches aren't turned to the position that's needed for them to operate. You can see the main gears working there. So that's it. So, um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.